Well, this is the damper rod out of one of the fork legs. This is the one that I've got all cleaned up. And uh, the piston ring, of which is a pair, they're stuck. And I've taken um, one out. And if I can get this to focus, you can see there's rust in that groove there, which is what's causing them to uh, to stick. So I uh, grabbed my deburring set. And although, although this says uh, Fakum on it, it's actually an ogre set rebranded by Fakum. And then I, I used to have the box for this, which I got rid of because this just sits in a drawer. Um, and it had a, a flexible hinge which broke. Um, and that was rebranded re yet again to RS Components. Uh, and this is something I picked up actually very cheaply in a um, cash converter shop. But I just went and got the, uh, the three cornered scraper to work around this, uh, this groove. And uh, scrape out the uh, the rust so that the ring moves uh, freely. So I'll work my way uh, round both. Uh, I'll do one groove and. Uh, you see you've got a backing, like a, a wire circlet, and that's just a spring to energise the uh, the ring, which is just... Uh, th this one actually appears to be a machined one, and it's just been machined from solid and then um, split. Um, it's almost rough enough that it wasn't even a... perhaps it was a knife done in this direction and it's wandered slightly as it's gone through. Does the job. Um, I'll just give that a little bit of a a clean, but it's generally in good condition. But I'll work my way around these um, this groove and then I'll do the other one. And uh, then we should be ready to put this uh, this side back together. Okay, after cleaning the first um, groove there you can see that this ring is now sitting with its gap expanded and is is loose so I just need to clean up the second groove so that that ring's not sticking. Now this second uh, groove is proving to be much more of a challenge. Let's see if I can get this to... actually let's try Just in here, there's actually um, a dent, and that's trapping the ring at that point. So I need to probably get a file in there and clean that burr out. And that's the top ring, all running free with spring in it. Okay, so you can put the damp start putting the damper rod back together. We've got the top out spring, check valve retaining plate, check valve washer, and the check valve body. And they all go up inside the base of the fork tube and with just a little bit of a, a wiggle we'll get the piston rings past the groove and then we've got a circlip to hold them in place
and there we go that's uh, seated down in there so I flip it round and can go the spring and over the end of the spring goes the spring guide and the preload spacer and then we'll just get the top cap in enough um, to hold everything and that way this is not falling inside the fork leg so I've cleaned the uh, the slider out and uh, you know these aren't going to get polished up or anything the seals are fine so we've got the foot and bottoming out cone and the retaining bush or the, the uh, check valve body forms a hydraulic lock around this piece um, so you don't get metal to metal contact on a, a big bump so we'll just give that a little coating of oil on the seals and then we've got the uh, the bottom screw and these as standard come with a, um, a soft aluminium sealing washer but I like to um, put them back together with a, um, a doughty washer which has got a, a bonded rubber seal in the middle um, I think they call them stato seals in the USA get that in place and I'll go and find the right Allen key and we can tighten that up That's uh, just hand tight at the moment. I'll um, put this in the vise and fully tighten it before putting it aside with a note on it saying that it needs oil because I uh, won't put oil in it until it's um, installed on the um, on the bike and with the wheel back in. And I'll just put the mudguard bolts and the pinch bolts back in for safekeeping.